Hi, I'm A.B. Quintanilla. I ain't introducing you today. <laughs> and me. Welcome back to our channel. I have persuaded A.B. or convinced him to do the random questions tag. Dude, I'm not doing this. Oh, don't even go there. Yes, you are. Why do I have to do this? Because you said you wanted to. No, I said I would do a video. You guys have been asking, when are y'all going to do another video together? And a lot of people said they want you to be a part of this one that I just did. Somebody's been running solo without me lately, making all kinds of hair videos <laughs> and all kinds of makeup videos. It looks like one of those scary movies. That looks weird. Anyway, but somebody's been running solo without me, but it's all good. Because you're not doing them. High five. High five. High five. High five. How much? High five. How much? High five. How much? <laughs> okay, so this is the random questions tag. And just a heads up before we start, AB hasn't seen my video, the one that I did, so he doesn't know any of the answers that I've said or how many questions there really are. I didn't sign up for this, man. And you're going to be like, ugh. Really? Yes, really. I don't A one, I don't talk like that. Ugh. B, I don't go. Ugh. <laughs> Question number one. Do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? Closed, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm scared of the dark. And I'm scared like there's something that's gonna come out of the closet or something. That's all I'm saying. Number two. Do you take the shampoos and conditioner bottles from the hotel? For what, man? Number three, do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? I guess tucked out. Well, I don't know. Tucked out, I guess. Okay. Have you ever stolen a street sign before? No. Do you like to use post-it notes? No. <laughs> <laughs> For what? Do you cut out coupons but never use them? No. Uh, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Uh, probably a swarm of bees because I'm a. I'm not allergic to bees. I'll survive from that. Bear would probably end up killing me. You can uh, run from bees. Bees you can get in water. If there's a lake by or something. I heard that's. I heard that's not true. You I mean if you get in water? I don't know. That's what I heard. No, you heard wrong. Okay, number eight. Do you have freckles? Yes, I do. Number nine. Do you always smile for pictures? Now I do. You used to not. I used to now not. Now you do things well, to me I, used to, I make you smile. You make me, but... <laughs> I make him smile. She makes me smile. But that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? I found actually smiling is very therapeutic. It's yes, very it it's is. very good for you. It's it's very contagious. A, a smile will take you a lot of places. Like you say, please. <laughs> okay. Number 10, what's your biggest pet peeve? When they say not to judge a book by its cover... And they tend to judge people without knowing them. And I'm not talking about me in specific. I'm talking about just in general. Just anybody. Don't judge people unless you know them. That that bothers me. Number 11. Do you ever count your steps when you walk? No, I used to. A long time ago. Number 12. Have you ever peed in the woods? Oh, yeah. More than that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about pooped in the woods? Oh, yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> you pooped in the woods? Not exactly. It was on the way to San Antonio. And I got real sick from my stomach just about maybe 20 miles outside of Pleasanton uh -huh. for all you guys that live in that area. And just in case you might walk in the woods uh, to some years later. This is a long time ago, a long time ago. And it's actually really hard to use the restroom in the woods. Because I was You're sick. I was Yes, I was trying to pop a squat. I was sick from my stomach. And so I was holding onto a tree branch and trying to squat at the same time. What it, tree branches are that low? That's the trick, is I was running around like going, ah, 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 and holding my stomach. And then I go, oh man, I don't even have toilet paper. What am I going to use? Leaves. I use leaves and some grass. So all those to wipe in Pleasanton that, that got a funny smell <laughs> a few years back. And some foony flies. Anyway. 14, do you ever dance if there's no music playing? Yeah, man. Of course. <laughs> Uh, do you chew your pens and pencils? I don't even have those, so no. <laughs> That's not good, good to do. How many people have you slept with this week? Just with you. What size is your bed? It's a queen. What's your favorite song of the week? My favorite song of the week would have to be uh, by Magic Root. I like that song a lot. Oh, that's the one I said too. <laughs> it's a good song. Why you gotta be so... I'm only giving them two. I'm gonna marry that girl. Marry her anyway. anyway. Marry her anyway. 
Uh, is it okay for guys to wear pink? Yeah, of course. That, that actually that was like the cool thing in like the nineties, man. Wear a pink polo shirt, and you know, it came back for a little bit. It was pretty hot thing in the hip hop world for a little bit. You know, wearing it was pink. cool. It was cool. Pink's cool. cool. Pink's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. Do you still watch cartoons? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Duh. Somebody somebody wrote in and said. That's the that's the thing is you know being young at heart you know what I'm saying is always eat cereal, and watch cartoons man, and smile and laugh that's the secret you know and everything will just will slide off of you negativity will slide off of you man. it's a good thing cartoons are cool I love cartoons yeah. cartoons are awesome. <laughs> okay, what is your least favorite movie? My least favorite movie one that irritates me a lot. Yep, your least favorite. Just, uh, nope, not watching it ever again. Man, there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot of them. My uh, my goodness, there's there's a lot of movies, man. I I, I it's unfair to say because then it's it's I find and you're bad mouthing. I'm bad mouthing. You're bad mouthing. I'm, I'm not gonna bad mouth a movie, but there's there's I have a, a list. A, it's a pretty extensive list of songs. Well, I want my money back, honestly. Oh, he's a horrible movie critic. I I'm, I'm he's not, a, He'll be laughing through like a funny movie or if it's like an action movie, he'll be like, oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God, you see that? Oh my God. But if the last five minutes of the movie don't end the way he wants it to, oh, that movie was horrible. I'm like, you loved the entire thing until the end yes. and now it's the worst movie ever? Yes, yes. Where would you bury a hidden treasure if you had some? Oh my God, that's a horrible question. I just, why? I just, a lot of horrible thoughts came to my mind. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the hidden? The, the question is, I'm gonna make it. You have to be more specific. I don't know. What is a hidden treasure? Is it like? Is it money? Okay, yeah. Think of. Is like, it a diamond? Think of like diamonds. A, sure. What is it? Like diamonds and gold and like your hidden treasure. Where if I you? had some hidden treasure, I'm not telling you, and I'm not telling these people on the internet where I would hide it. Okay. So there, there's your answer. I'm not telling. You're not. It's, it's hidden treasure. You're not supposed to tell anybody where it's hidden. So I'm not telling you. Zip. Oh, wait. I can't zip it and swallow the key. Swallow. You zip it and you toss it. If you toss a key, somebody can find it. No, if you toss it in a river. <sighs> they can find anything. They, don't you watch CSI, dude? <laughs> Hello. What do you dip your chicken nuggets in? I don't do chicken nuggets, man. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. When? We, sh we share chicken nuggets from McDonald's. That was a long time ago. A long time ago. The fact of the matter is, what did you dip your chicken okay, nuggets in? Okay, what did I used to dip? What did I used to dip my chicken nuggets in? I used to dip my chicken nuggets in sweet and sour sauce. See, you have an answer. Okay, there. I don't need them. What's more. your favorite food? I'm gonna have to go with it, with Italian food. Did All you right. go with Italian food? I, I said anything pasta. Okay, same thing, Italian. What movies could you watch over and over again and still love? Blood In, Blood Out, Rambo, the first one, Karate Kid, but the last I'll one. I'll say which one? The one with... with uh, the last one? Yes. Okay. I think that Will Smith's son did an excellent job. He really, really was doing all the karate moves and stuff. That That's so cool when they, when they actually take the time to actually <clears> study <throat> and research and learn how to actually fight. I mean, no disrespect to Ralph Macchio. I love the original one, but with him... It was he just did that one move, and that, and that was it, and, and it was over. And this one, I mean, Will Smith's son, man, he was doing some pretty cool stuff. He was doing it. He was doing he it. He was doing it. He was doing it himself. Last person you kissed or kissed you? It's you. Mm -hmm. mm. 28, have you ever been a Boy Scout? <laughs> no. I'm an inside. If I was a dog, I'd be an inside dog. I ain't no outside dog. Well, screw that. Yeah, I'm not. Screw that. I like the air condition. I like... Being inside. Would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, may. <sighs> Talk. Spill the beans. If they blurred out some of the parts, maybe. That's not. No, they can't do that. Pose nude is to show. Nah, nah, I couldn't do that, man. My, <laughs> my conscience. That, that, that. No, I can't do that. I'm sorry. When's the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? It was actually, uh, I believe, to you. I think it was. Yeah, it was to you. He's wrote me a couple. Dear Darla. <laughs> I, hate I hate your, your stinking, stinking guts. guts. You make me, me vomit. vomit. You're scum between my, my toes. toes. <laughs> <The> alpha. alpha. <laughs> okay, can you change the oil on a car? I can change the oil on a bus. Damn, what's up? I used to change the oil on Bertha. My dad kind of tricked me into that. 
He would say, let's, let's together. Let us let go us, which means change. both of us, change the bus oil and change the air filter and all that on Bertha. And then we'd get there. And the minute we get there, I'd, he'd slide me all the tools. And then he would say, I'm going to be back. I'm going to go eat. I'm going to go eat breakfast with your Uncle Isaac. And they would go eat. And then they would leave me under the bus trying to figure out how to take an oil filter out that's about this big. It's this big and this big. And you have to use this weird wrench and then let all the oil out. It's it's a lot of work, man. Ever got a speeding ticket? Oh, man, tons of them. Really? Because you always tell me I've never even gotten a ticket. Well, that's been like since the last maybe... 10 years maybe <laughs> okay so then you can never don't i don't i don't ever want to hear you say i've never even gotten a ticket okay well if, if, obviously okay if a judge calls me to court tomorrow and they look on my record they're not going to find anything over the last 10 years because i haven't had a car fast enough to get a ticket <laughs> <laughs> times are hard right now folks there ain't no time to be getting tickets ever ran out of gas oh that's meme my best friend manuel we run out of gas um Plenty of times, man. In the bus, too, Bertha. It was horrible. Yikes. Yeah. I, my dad went to sleep. He told me, son, uh, gas up in a certain town. I thought I had, didn't pass the town, but I did. So by the time he woke up, we were in the middle of nowhere. So we pulled off to where there was a gas station. And guess what? It was like 2 in the morning, and the gas station didn't open until 8 o'clock in the morning. So we had, awesome. to sit, we had to sit six hours outside of a truck stop. In a small town, waiting. Everybody was real mad because it, <laughs> in six hours coming back from El Paso, we were already been in, like in San Antonio or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they were real mad. I was the hated guy on the rest of the trip. Thirty-four favorite kind of sandwich. Dude, that's a lot of questions, man. Oh, we're not definitely. Favorite type of sandwich is made by my lovely wife, which involves, or not involves, but actually has. It includes. It includes. It is made up of. It's made consist of wheat toast, turkey, smoked turkey, uh, mozzarella cheese, which is a real good cheese if you're watching what your intake is. Some avocado slices and tomato, with some light mayonnaise and lettuce. And lettuce, and it's a heated sandwich. It's really, really delicious. So that the cheese is nice and melted. Oh, it's it's an amazing. It, I think it's the love that's put into something that really makes it more amazing. Like I could get the something similar to it at another place, but. The one at home is the best one. It's delicious. Awesome. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Best thing to eat for breakfast. I'm thinking that. That's <laughs> oh, Cochino. I'm thinking really bad thoughts of what to eat for breakfast. I would, oh, what do I love to eat for breakfast? I don't eat breakfast because I don't get up in the morning. So <laughs> That's what I said we too. I was like, we don't wake up till like one in yeah, the afternoon. So, but people got to know though, we don't go to bed till seven or eight in the morning. So for all you okay, people, well, no, lately it's been a little bit. It's been maybe five, it's been like six, five, six, five or now. six. But for the people that see me on Facebook, they always tell me, "Yeah, do I don't let that go to sleep." Do y'all go to sleep? Yeah, when it's like four, they're like, why aren't you in bed? Yes, because our bedtime isn't for another yeah. like three hours. Exactly. <laughs> okay, well, next question. What's your usual bedtime? What we just told Seven you. Seven in the morning. Are you lazy? Uh, no, I'm not a lazy person. Um, I can be every once in a while. Okay, so we're we're gonna re we're gonna reword the next one. It's supposed to be Halloween. <coughs> like, what did you dress up for? It's Halloween, but they didn't do Halloween. So we we're gonna say, Halloween. what did you dress up as as a kid? I I did the whole Superman thing, man. You know, oh, it was actually Batman, I guess. I would, I, I really didn't have options because I didn't think we had black towels. It's called imagination. Yeah, well, I imagined that I was Batman, and I didn't have the mask. I didn't have anything else. You know, I just had. But you did the clothespin. The clothespin with the with the with the towel. You get a clothespin and just close it up, and boom, in your in your tornus. <laughs> that's a Superman outfit right away, dog. For real, all day. Okay. Run around. You could really feel the wind going through that cape. I swear, sometimes I thought I could fly, man. Like you're gonna take off. I'm sorry. I'm just a miracle. I might have flown. <laughs> Everybody knew who I was. <laughs> I wondered how they knew, but they knew. Did you ever play like you were invisible? Oh, I did. No. I played invisible. It was pretty cool. You know what's weird? It's Wonder Woman used to have an invisible plane, but she wasn't invisible inside the plane. Like Linda Carter, mm -hmm. she would take off in it. She was just like, what's the purpose of having an invisible plane if you don't turn invisible? She's riding. So would they show her like sitting like in a chair? Like... And it was like, yeah, yeah. And she's driving an invisible okay, that's plane. That's stupid. weird. It's Yeah, that's there was a lot stupid. of dumb. It was, that's all we had back in the days, you know, but we believed in that. 
It's kind of stupid now. I believed it back then, though. Look it up if you don't believe me. What is your Chinese astrological sign? The rabbit. Okay, so you're the rabbit. Okay. Why? I thought I was. I couldn't remember what I was. You're not the rabbit. The rabbit is like the luckiest and the coolest dude of all of them, man. How many languages can you speak? Two languages. Or one, I can speak good, and the other, I can speak pretty decent. Do you have any magazine subscriptions? Uh, no. There's these, these days on a budget, man, they ask me if I want We'll buy some every once in a while at the we'll grocery store. We'll buy one, like, if it's really important that we know what's going on. Which is better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? Dude, I forgot about those. I didn't have either one, so I can't say. I don't even know if they had Legos back in 1930-something. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, next one. Are you stubborn? Yes. Yeah, Did you answer yes to? I said I could be. I can be too, but no, nah, yeah, I am stubborn. Okay. Who is better, Leno or Letterman? Neither. I'm a Do Jimmy, you ever? Oh. Jimmy Fallon fan. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. Ever watch soap operas? I did. <laughs> I used to watch All My Children. I'm serious. I knew all. I watched. I don't know how I became hooked on that. They they hook you in. They hook. They just drag you in. Hook, line, and sinker. Hook, line, and sinker. I watched all my children like I for like, three years in a row or something. I like was so into it, you know. Mm -hmm. It was weird. Are you afraid of heights? The crazy thing is, is that I don't know if I am or I'm not. Okay, we're in an airplane. I look out the window. I'm not afraid. A hotel room. I look out the edge. I'm freaking out. You know what I'm saying? It trips me out. We call it funny nuts. <laughs> Because you get that little tingly, like, oh, it's, it freaks you out. But I recently told a friend of mine, I said, and I told you also that I wanted to go skydiving. Yes. So does that technically make me afraid of heights? I don't think so. I think maybe I'm overcoming that or something over that Probably. fear. Over that fear because I want to go skydiving. I don't know why. Do you sing in the car? I attempt to sing, but someone always gets mad at me. Because I always sing the wrong words. He I'm that, I'm butchers that guy. the lyrics. I'm that guy because I go, who dat, who dat? And I'll add baby, I, G, G, Y. But there's no baby. No, you're like, I, 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 G, G, I, 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 G, G, I, G, 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 Y. I'm like, no, I'm like, it's just. Who dat? How does it go? Who dat? Who dat? Who dat? I, G, G, Y. See, she gets it right. And she even gets us that. I can't do it, man. I want to learn that so bad. The song's already... Like going off the radio, and I still don't know it, man. It's not fair. That's so hard to learn. How it, it just—it's a weird, you know what I'm saying? It's like like that song. Doo, 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 doo. Oh yeah, you like the wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Doo, 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 doo. Ever use a gun? Uh, yeah, I have. I have. I went hunting one time, uh, but I'll never go hunting ever again. I just can't. It's not in me, man. Sorry, can't do it. Last time you got a portrait taken by a photographer. Uh, probably about a year ago, maybe longer. Do you think musicals are cheesy? Very cheesy, dude. I, I, I can't. If a movie has singing in it, it just ruins it for me. But you loved Frozen. I liked Olaf. Okay, let's get I that straight. I no bones. I loved Olaf. Olaf made that. I, I like that was a cool cartoon. I dealt with the singing because it was to a minimal, but I, I just don't like. Are you gonna open that door? No, I'm not gonna open that door. Do you wanna build a snowman? Okay, the next one again doesn't really apply to you. It's it's, okay, Chris, it's Christmas stressful. Is Christmas stressful? Yeah, well, it does apply to me. Yeah, it is. It is stressful. It's very stressful. Really? Why? Yeah, because it just it brings everybody like crazy and stuff. It like makes at, me happy. I love Christmas At time. stores. People are just crazy. I love Christmas, Christmas shopping. Time. Christmas shopping is crazy. You, just people parking. Everybody's out and about. You know, rustling. Everybody's around. There's too many people. You like people. I like people. I love people I like too. being around I love, people. I love people too. But I like people. I love people too. Uh, ever eat a pierogi? What the heck is a pierogi, man? There you go. <laughs> Favorite type of fruit pie? She's my chick. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, baby, baby. Oh look, oh, <laughs> she's my cherry pie. She's my cherry pie. <laughs> Ooh, still didn't answer the question. What's your favorite type of cherry pie? I already uh, answered. Okay, it. I didn't know. I thought yes. you were just being silly. No, okay. cherry pie. 
occupations you wanted to be when you were a kid? Can I switch the question around? Sure. Because I, when I was a as kid... As long as you answer it, too. I'll answer it. Okay. As a kid, I didn't know what I was going to be. I didn't want to be anything. If I had two occupations like to be right now besides a musician, okay. these are just things that I would love to be. Okay. Is A, I'd like to be a barber. Okay. That'd be one. And the other, I'd like to be a guy that works for pesticide control. <laughs> you know, I don't believe in killing, you know, living things, but flies, they deserve to die. <laughs> really? Insects and rodents are different. Yeah, insects and rodents, they, they, they're just, it's not good, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I, PETA's going to get mad at us for this, but I really don't give two flying, you know what, to the, what they think. Two flying poops. That's right. Anyway, go ahead. Do you believe in ghosts? I have to say... I look like one. Uh, I have to say, nah, I really don't. Even after the little blue boy? I didn't see him. If I would have seen him, then I would say yes. The guys, they said that they saw a little blue boy in the restroom, and we were in a... Like a, a ghostly little blue boy. And we were in Shelha, uh, Guatemala, and uh, we were in a hotel, and it got so scary in that hotel that there was about 24 of us, and we all just piled up in one room. We were scared. We just sat around drinking Gallo beer because that's the beer they drink over there. It's got a big rooster on the side of it. And we sat around drinking that, just scared until the morning. I didn't even sleep. I was so scared. But we found out that that hotel that we stayed at actually used to be a jail for that city. And in the old days, that they used to hang people in that actual building. They hung a lot of people, a lot of criminals. So... When I came into the hotel, the vibes were really weird in there. I mean, I really felt something. Real, yeah. It just felt real scary in the hotel. I stayed at a lot of scary hotels, but that one was probably the scariest. And two of the guys in the back actually saw something. So I didn't see it. So until I see something, then I could tell you otherwise. The man is just hearsay. Ever have that deja vu feeling? Yeah, like right now. Ever have that deja vu feeling? Yeah, like right now. Do you take a vitamin daily? I take a lot of vitamins. Not literal vitamins, but I believe that, you know. Other kinds of stuff. Yeah. Your proteins and Yeah, all proteins that. and stuff. Okay, a lot of people ask, you know, they see the bottles of, of, of all kinds of stuff. All it is is just protein that your body needs. It's protein and just uh, amino acids. If you go look it up, there are two things that you need so that way. So you can lose weight and cut weight and at the same time maintain your muscle mass, man. So it's, it's a balance. You have to balance things out. Do you wear slippers? I'm wearing some right now. They're not really slippers. Hey, these are, like these are Rasa slippers. The Nike ones. You know which ones I'm talking about, homeboys? They're like the rubbery chunk yeah, ones. Yeah, these, these ones. These kinds. These have multiple uses, man. This is this is a deadly weapon I'm holding in my hand right here. If somebody runs away from me, all you have to do is just right in the back of the head. Boom. They're out. You know? Kill fly. Pa. Kill a cockroach. Pa. You know what I'm saying? You can do a lot of things with these things. Do a lot of damage. And plus, a lot of damage. Plus, if you're staying somewhere and you don't want your feet to touch the ground so you don't catch any kind of fungus off the ground, you can wear some chocolates. That's gross. Do you wear a bathrobe? No, for what, man? What do you wear to bed? I start off with a, a wife beat and just join us. And then I end up in just, before I go to sleep, I take off the wife beater and then I just sleep and just... My children, so my wife can wake up in the morning and see me just hunched over there, you know what I'm saying? All just, just like that, you know what I'm saying? Just, just. What was your first concert? Like, there's a lot of concerts I could say, but a, a mainstream concert with big artists was with uh, Juan Gabriel and Rocio Ducal. And it was with my friend Manuel when I first moved here to Corpus. And I didn't even know who Juan Gabriel was or Rocio Ducal was, who they were. And people were screaming and going crazy, singing the songs, and I mean, literally did I know later that I would actually learn to love Rocio and Juan Gabriel, and actually my songwriting techniques, I actually uh, model after his work, the way he uses, he expresses himself timing-wise on the songs and stuff, so mm -hmm. it's pretty it's pretty cool, and Rocio Ducal was actually Selena's favorite singer also, so. Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Walmart and Target all day. Okay, Nike or Adidas? I'd have to say both. I like Nike shoes and I like Adidas apparel. Cheetos or Fritos? Neither. Peanuts or sunflower seeds? Uh, peanuts. Ever heard the group the group Trabian? No, never heard. Ever take dance lessons? <laughs> no. 
What? Is there a profession you picture your future spouse doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can picture you doing a lot of things. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> can you curl your tongue? No, I can't. Uh -uh. <laughs> Ever want a spelling bee? No. I entered one one time, though, but I think I was out right away. Or I might have got third place. I don't remember. But I think You I... were either out right away or you got third no, place. No, you know what? Like... I was out. I was out right away. I was out right away. Have you ever cried because you were so happy? Yeah, a lot of times. I cried when we got married. Oh, you did say it. Yeah. <laughs> That's I what I said. Too. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my God! No, I'm just kidding. It, it was a beautiful. It was beautiful. I mean, my dad and my mom were there, and and everybody was there. Your mom was there. That's in a big kiss mark. Grandpa was there. Everybody was there. It was good. It was a good. It, it was, was a good. good it, was a, it was awesome. It was quiet. Cool. Cool. Small. Small. Ceremony. Peaceful. Peaceful. Quiet ceremony. Do you own any record albums? What are you doing? It's like a character, like, you know what I'm saying? It keeps interfering in my face. I'm not doing it. It just keeps doing it. Stop. <laughs> Do you own any record albums? The ones that you own. What I would like to own is some of my albums. I don't know what happened to them. I guess I gave them away or I don't know. There are two albums I'd like to get a hold of. Planeta Cumbia and La Vida de Eugenio. I wish I had those two albums. I had it. I don't know what happened. I don't it. know where they're at, man. I, I can't find them. Do you own a record player? No. Nobody does. Do you burn incense? I don't. No, I don't. Ever been in love? Oh, yeah. You've been in love, too. But we never had a love love like this, where it's mutual. Like, high five, you and me, us together. It's mutual. So this is this is a different love right here. It's an awesome love. It's a, it's a perfect love. I'm in love with you. I want to have your babies. <laughs> Uh, who would you like to see in concert? There's too many people to say. I, I want to see everybody. I would have liked to have seen Journey, George Strait. I've never got to see George Strait because I just want to hear him sing the song I Hate Everything because that's an amazing song. Uh, I'd like to see Garth Brooks, Aerosmith. I would like to see Beyonce. I'd like to see Jay-Z. Well, hello, Jay-Z and Beyonce I are going know. on tour, We're, and I, my mother invited us to go to see Aerosmith with her, we including able, Slash. Yes, but we weren't able to go to that, and I'm... It's not even... It hasn't even happened yet. I'm, what was the last concert you saw? The last concert I saw? Well, we went to the Deftones. Hot tea or cold tea? Both. I love cold tea and I love hot tea. It just depends. Tea or coffee? Uh, tea. Uh, sugar or snickerdoodles? Okay. What the heck is a snickerdoodle? It's sort of like another type of sugar cookie-ish, but I think it's... You said sugar or snickerdoodles? I think it's supposed to be like sugar cookie or snickerdoodles. I'd say neither. Can you swim well? No. Can you hold your breath without holding your nose? Yeah, of course. Are you patient? Uh, no. No. DJ or a band at a wedding? You can't go wrong with the DJ because they're, they're always going to get the music right. If you got a band, they better, me being a musician, they better be pretty badass. Top notch. Top notch. Top notch. Ever won a contest? Yeah. Well, we won talent contests when we were little. Really? Yeah, we won a talent contest. We were all excited. It was at the Holiday Inn. I remember that day like it was yesterday, even though it was like a million years ago. We were little. We weren't even old enough to get into the club. It was a nightclub part of the Holiday Inn. And they had a talent contest. We brushed up our song, our rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, like a million times. Aww. Somewhere over the rainbow. I'm on the bass, Suzette's on the drum, Selena singing, Dad's on the guitar. And so it's for $250 in prizes. For a bunch of little kids, where for us, we're like, wow, that's 250 bucks in prizes. So we're like, Okay, we got this. We got to win this. So they had a magic act. They had a, a jazz singer. They had some other things. Then we came out and did our we did our thing, and we waited outside for the rest of the night until the other acts and the comedians and everybody. And then they said the winner, and the winner is Selena. We're all happy. Oh my God, we won, we won! And so my dad went in and collected afterwards what the prize was, and all it was was two hundred fifty dollars worth of hotel room at any Holiday Inn in the United States. 
So that's one of the things that didn't make the movie, but uh, that's one of the things I just shared with you. Ever have plastic surgery? Well, I don't know if, if getting my teeth fixed, because they, they were pretty broken up, busted up pretty bad. You said you had braces, right? Yeah, I had braces. That's what I'm saying. I, they were pretty gappy. Uh, I had a few cavities here and there. Lost a couple of teeth on the side. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so at night, I pull these cosmetic out. Cosmetic <laughs> surgery. Cosmetic. That is cosmetic Yeah, it's, co it's cosmetic. For all you guys out there, just all you have to do is make sure... You don't eat a lot of sugars when you brush your teeth. You know, so that means so pretty much. Say you, you I didn't, didn't brush my you grill. <laughs> your grill. Brush, brush your grill. Brush, up, brush, up, brush. Up. I didn't brush my grill, dude. I should have brushed my grill back in the day, you know. So it's it, gross. It, I didn't know you back then, so it doesn't That's matter. Gross. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you had some no, things. No, I like brush that. my teeth. Thank you okay. very much. We brush our teeth, and our mother took us to the dentist every six months on well, schedule. Well, I, maybe I brushed my teeth, but we couldn't afford the dentist, so you know I had to take a couple of hits. I lost some teeth, you know. I've, I've got a bridge on one side in the back. All these are mine, though, because a lot of people ask, "Are they mine?" Yeah, they're not porcelain. Only for this one, I knocked it out when I was 12 years old. Knocked it clean out, man. <laughs> and we were dirt broke, and my dad was so upset, man. And back then. They didn't have no caps or anything to put over it. It was just like, they'd get like plastic and they would just like fuse it on your tooth and then shape it. So your tooth looked like real and then the rest didn't match up. It would turn yellow after a while. Like, or, or it didn't match up or your tooth were, teeth were too yellow and that part was too white. And after a while, there's pictures where that tooth would start wearing on the edge. It would start wearing in different ways. So Aww, it was, poor thing. It's my fault. I should have been more careful. I was riding my bike and I munched it and I... I hit my face on the cement and and I knocked my tooth out now. You know? It didn't knock the whole thing out. I just knocked it looked kinda like Lloyd from Dumb and Dumb. Lloyd Christmas. Lloyd Christmas, I promise you. If my tooth was cracked half like that, like Lloyd Christmas, you know. So that's the only fake one that I have is that one. And the bridge on the side. <laughs> Which are better, black or green olives? I like black olives. Okay, can you knit or crochet? Nope. What's the best room for a fireplace? When you live in Texas, nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get married? I already got married to you. So I already did what I did. If married, how long have you been married? You know what's strange is I really can't keep a time on it because it seems like I've known you forever and ever. Honestly. It feels like we've been Are together. Are you trying to avoid the question? <laughs> How long have we been married? Are you trying to avoid it's like the four, question? It's like close to four years or something. No. It's fine. We have not been married close to four years. Oh, no. Years. It's like two years, but we've known each other for more than... Okay. It's like two years, but we've known each other for longer. It seems like... For me, I don't even keep time. You know, Time for me, I'm real bad with that. You know I'm bad with remembering things like that. She'll remember the time and the date. Everything. I have a good long-term memory. She has a good long-term. I have horrible long-term and horrible short be like... Oh, just the other day, I'm like, that was like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that was last year. Oh, boy. Who was your high school crush? Celebrity or, or somebody at my school? Probably celebrity. It doesn't say celebrity. It says no, high, it school's cr high school crush. I had a crush on this cheerleader, and I even remember her name. Hey, wouldn't, it freak, wouldn't she freak out like all these years? Because I was like a freshman. Why, she like hits you up right now? She's she like, hits hey. Me up, hits me up, what's up, AB, you know? No, I mean. And the, there you go, walking out the door. Oh, uh, hey, goodbyes. <laughs> hey, goodbyes. <laughs> Goodbye, my love. <laughs> no, um. I remember her name. C.C. Schumann was her name. It's kind of a tongue twister. C.C. Yeah, Schumann. Schumann. C.C. Schumann was her name. And uh, she was just this awesome cheerleader, man. But she was actually, she was in older grades than me. I mean, like, up, oh, I was maybe a freshman. She was already a junior. And, like, she wasn't around for very long. I, liked, I even liked her name, C.C. Maybe she owned C.C.'s Pizza. Who knows? <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Just throwing it out there. Well, if so, do you cry and throw a fit until you get your own way? No, there's no need for that. I, f I feel that everything can be resolved amicably and calmly and patiently. patiently if you just take the time to understand your significant other and listen to her wants and her needs and listen to her. The listening is the most... It's just the most beautiful thing in the world that you can do with your significant other. I don't know. I guess that means you should start doing it then, huh? I listen. I listen to you. 
No. You li- actually, she listens more to me. Oh my! I don't even know how she puts up with me. I got. I don't know either. I, I say the same thing over and over and over and over and over and okay, over. Okay, that you're getting way off. It's do you cry and throw a fit until you get your own no. way? Dude, you know what? I don't cry and throw a fit. If I throw a fit, yeah. That's two things in one. Okay, do I throw a fit? Yeah, I will throw a fit. Okay, there. Do you have kids? Yeah, I have kids. Do you want kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have kids. Do you want kids? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I do not want. I'm just kidding. No, I, yes, of course. Ricky and I would like to have a kid. Uh, no, I don't even say kid. It sounds like kids is cool, but you know. But if we're talking here amongst ourselves, I would say yeah. Between and between between, you and I, between us, I would say between yes. Us in, girls. in the future, at the present time, we're really enjoying, you know, the way things are right us. now. You know, and we enjoy when I do get my kids, and we really enjoy having them, and it's awesome. And I can't wait because we're going to see them real soon, hopefully. Yes. Okay, what is your favorite color? I would have to say right now purple. That's what I said, too. Awesome. High five. High five. How much? <laughs> and final question, number 99. This was 99 <laughs> problems in a... No. Is it 99 problems in a... <laughs> one of them? And it, 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 no, one. it was it, just 99 random questions, but I don't want wow, to tell you how that many because you weren't going to No, jam. I would do them all. I wish there was more questions. Because you freaked out when I said number 37. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I stopped saying numbers after that. And ha- okay. <sighs> do you... Okay, answer the question. I do am. you miss anyone right now? I would have to say at this given time, no. Not like like I'm right now in the middle of this interview. Oh, I wouldn't say miss, miss, miss. You know what I'm saying? Missing is just something that it happens, you know, yeah. at certain times. You know what I'm saying? It kind of happens sporadically when it hits you, and you're like, oh. Yeah, all of a sudden, and you'll get, oh, I wish I could see this person, you know. Yeah. I could see this other person. And that doesn't necessarily have to mean people that are no longer here. It could mean somebody like, oh, I miss, you know, like we haven't hung out with my friend Manuel. I miss my kids. I haven't seen my kids. You know, I want to see them. You know, there's a lot of people that I miss. You know? That's basically it, folks. I was tricked into 99 problems and I enjoyed 99 this. questions. And yeah, I, I, w- I didn't know this was going to happen. Uh, I just want to thank all everybody that supported me throughout the years and all the people that made this video possible. And now it's time to say goodbye to all our family. Hey, friends. M I C K E Y M O U S. Good night. <laughs> Just want to say subscribe to our channel. Comment down below if there's any other sort of videos you guys want us to do. Any suggestions, anything like that. But subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Aww, we love you. Love you too.